Interesting. And when you place it there, then you can get to all the other areas. So I'm just wasting time here because I haven't played <laughs> this game in so long and I forgot where I was. I could always cut it. It's uh, it's, it's all right. What was I gonna say? I forget. Oh, what, what there's this there's this movie coming out called The Grand Budapest Hotel. It looks really good. It oh, has. I know what you're talking about. I think. It has um, the guy who played M in Skyfall. So here's the main hub. Oh, okay. This this bonfire is burned out, I think. Yeah, because she's the the firekeeper, the person who keeps the fire lit, is dead. Oh, hey, there's a ghost. Oh, got some drop in there. Yeah, that's another player. How many people are still? Do you think play this? Oh, oh, plenty. Yeah. Plenty of people. Yeah. Is it just an obsession for them, like you, or? Uh, probably. I mean, it's I, I jump back in every once in a while to play through. I mean, the characters that you saw on that loading screen are none yeah. of the characters I've beaten the game with. Oh, okay. Those are all... I just deleted all my characters and start over again. What? Why? Uh, I don't know. Cause... It was kind of dumb that I look back at it, but I mean... <laughs> what is this guy? He looks like an enemy. Uh, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a good friend. He looks a little weird. He's taking me to where I placed the Lord Vessel to open uh, another area. Interesting. Anyway, so the Grand Buddha Post Hotel... There's a bunch of actors in it, but it's I like it because it looks uh, going down. It looks more dialogue based than like an action movie or something, uh, which I always enjoy. Like some of my favorite movies are more dialogue based. Um, I mean, Inception is actiony, but it is much more about the dialogue. And I think Twelve Angry Men is another one of my favorite movies. You know, a really good movie is and that really is with really dialogue. good dialogue. Pacific Rim. That is a, that is it's that got some deep, that has good dialogue. Deep themes in there. How did you watch Pacific Rim? I'm lying. I've never seen it, and I know it's just no, stupid action it's, movie. It's not a stupid action movie. It's a great action movie. All right. Have you okay. seen Die Hard? Yes. Yeah. Die Hard is a great action movie. Pacific Rim is also. Well, I mean, I know. A great I, I heard movie. the story just kind of sucks. It's just awesome robots fighting aliens. I guess it is. I mean, you guys should watch Evangelion because there are movies now for Evangelion that makes it much more compact and easy to digest and really you only need to watch the first two because there are three right now three one is trash it's rubbish but the first two are awesome especially the second one okay so you just lit this thing and now what happens oh hey so is this better than skyrim Whew, okay so i i think i could spend <laughs> i can spend a lot more time with skyrim yeah but i but the quality of the time what? But what about the quality? Quality wise, of that time? like if I had to rate a game higher on the IGN scale, yes, I would of course I would rate this game higher. Oh, what would I, what would you give it? I would give this game a nine point five. Okay, what would you give Skyrim? An eight point five. Ooh, just well, because. Just great. Would you, frankly just because um. You want to make people mad. Yes, no, the, uh... <laughs> the bugs. Especially in the PS3 version. Uh, I only play on 360, Yeah, so. that is, that's the, that's the reason I'd give it. I mean, I don't... Colin Moore already, already said, always says the PS3 version was broken. It wasn't. I mean, I, I never hit that, like, 8 megabyte patch or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. Where, like, when you get a certain amount of... Spit, or, save, a save file. Yeah, when big. a certain save file gets too big and you've done too much stuff, it'll just kick you out. Mm. And you won't be able to play. Or not kick you out, but I mean, like... It just gets... It just becomes unplayable. Yeah. I never hit that. Um, but I heard that, you know, it wasn't the end, the end of, of the, the world. Because they patched it pretty quickly. It was just an annoyance. Yeah. Uh, so... I was never able to hit those limits that they always... Yeah. My follow... Uh, we could look memory at... Memory limits, yeah. I guess. And then when everything just starts going haywire, uh, yeah. after you drop enough... I'm like, how do you drop that many items or store <laughs> that many... Uh... Is that a dwarf? No. He's he's tall. He's just sitting down. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, there's a, a His great... name's Andraste, I think. There's a great character. No, there's a great trolling video where this guy invades this other... Hmm person's world and so forces this. oh yeah so so okay so yeah, Turo can explain it better i think no. so you can invade in this game obviously and when yeah. somebody invades your world npcs appear as white phantoms so that the person invading cannot kill them okay because that'd be unfair obviously if somebody just invaded your world and killed all your essential because yeah. you can kill pretty much any essential npc in this game mm. and just screw yourself over interesting so that's why you don't kill NPCs in this game unless they attack you first. Yes. 
uh, or do something to you that's highly unfair. But there's this guy who... So there's this guy who invaded okay. and stood in front of a essential NPC. Not an essential NPC, but a very nice NPC to have. And just stood in front of him. And essentially... And the guy went for it. Yeah, oh! Tricked the actual guy into attacking the NPC. Yeah. And when, it, when you attack an NPC... And they get aggroed. Like you can, you can hit them a few times before they get pissed. Yeah. Or you know, you can do a certain amount of damage before they get pissed. Um. So if you hit them with one really strong attack, they'll come after you. Mm -hmm. Um. But he tricked him into doing it, and he was an idiot and did it. And he basically just ruined that NPC for him. Yeah. I'm like, you're a douche. That's funny. That's a great way to troll people. And troll he did. <laughs> okay. So I think I have not beat Sif yet. So I'll go and fight Sif. Who's that? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. Because he's a really cool boss design. Oh, we saw the chest. Oh, the chest monster yes, thing? Yes, the chest. No, not the chest monster. The the chest. The, the imminent chest. The woman with gigantic large, chest. Oh, yes. Large chest ahead. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> yeah. I hate a bonfire. That's a great place to have it. Yeah. Well, actually, when you first come here, this is a uh, illusion wall. So there's a wall here. Yeah. And you have to hit it to make it disappear to be yeah. able to see it. So this is Sif behind the store? No, he's he's a little bit of a waste. Not oh, too long. Okay. As long as I don't die. Cameron, what movies did you watch in 2013? I don't think I've ever asked you this. Cameron watch, doesn't watch, watch any, any movies. Did you watch any good movies? I watched The Great Gatsby. How'd you, what did you think of that? I thought it was... Um, the book is better overall, but... Yeah, that's the, most case. Um, there's the, the, I think they did the climax, the hotel scene... I don't know. Have you ever read it? I haven't read it, no. Have you uh, seen it? I've watched the movie, yeah. You know the hotel scene where they're... The hotel where, scene where... Where they're Gatsby arguing. Gatsby and... Tom, where yeah, Tom Buchanan and uh, Gatsby get oh, together. okay. I'm, and where I'm, they I'm have like their so hot. rhetorical showdown. And, yeah. Uh, I thought they did that scene better than the book, actually. Really? Yeah. Was I, it just was because just, of the tension in the The movie? tension was much... It was just... Um, yeah, the tension was just way better, and it just built... Yeah. And okay. yeah, it was great. And in the book, it's just continuously like that awkward kind of, mm. like, wow, these guys are fighting over. <laughs> over this is kind of sad. Okay. And then, yeah, I thought that scene was good. I didn't. The movie overall was good. I thought the movie was great. Yeah. I liked. I liked Leo. I liked Tobey Maguire. I thought he actually did really good. I thought. I thought so too. Um, the woman, I didn't find her that attractive. I found the woman that Toby was... It looked like he was going to end up with. Jordan. Yeah. yeah, I thought she was pretty cute. I liked her. Um, Is that what you base oh. your movies on? How hot the... Um, well, no, I don't base... How my, attractive I don't, I don't base my enjoyment level on that. Co-actors are. But I, I find that the women who are portrayed as attractive in movies are usually not, like, that attractive, really. What do you find attractive, Steven? Uh, brunettes. Um, like... So she would have been brunette, just everything would be... Maybe. Maybe. Fine. Well, I mean, I'm pretty other... sure Jordan was brunette. Yeah, she was. Yeah. That's why I liked her. <laughs> but, like, um, in Les Mis, the musical that my family loves. Uh, like, um, Cassette... Eponine was beautiful. Yeah, she the was... The girl who played Eponine was gorgeous. She was really cute. And then Cassette was just kind of... I don't know. She was not that great. Like, if I was the, the dude... I forget his name. Uh, even, Marius. Yeah, even though he sings my favorite song, Empty Chairs. That, um, that is a great song. Yeah, I love singing that song to my sisters because they get so annoyed. Because I sing it badly, and <laughs> they hate it. Um, but uh, if I was him, I, w I totally would have been with Eponine. I would not. Oh, your battery's running low. I wouldn't have. Your PC. Oh, great. I'll find a plug to plug it in. But yeah, I thought I thought Eponine was a lot cuter. Because if we miss the boss battle, I'll be upset. Well, because that's what I'm doing this for, basically. <laughs> okay, Karen, keep talking. I did find her more attractive to all of that, but it's just like, here's one of the more ridiculous enemies in the game. Mushroom Walking people. Walking mushroom men. <laughs> They're just... Was this inspired by drug experiences? Uh, what have you done? Uh, he's dead. He's dead now. <laughs> no, these guys... The, these ones will just run away from you. The big ones, the, the, the daddy mushrooms over there, those ones will attack you. Stevens asked if they were uh, like the mushrooms in Kingdom Hearts that that do special things to you if you do special That's things to them. Kind of um, <laughs> at which point I said no, and that he has a perverted mind. 
You sicko. Oh, scratch my back. You sh oh, wait. I scratch your back. You can scratch. Okay, here we go. This is a, I think, I'll scratch my I think back. one of the really just cool looking me. bosses in this game. All right. Uh, is he a snake? No, just my, wait. I'm trying to think of my favorite movies from 2013. I really like Pacific Rim. I really love Wolverine. That was a cool movie. Uh, See, superhero movies are all the same to me now. It's yeah. just I can't take them really anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I Except the uh, ones that really got it, like um, Batman and um, just um, Iron like Man, because Robert Downey Jr. is yes. just amazing. So he, here's, Downey Jr. Here's, is awesome. here's the cutscene. Okay. All right, let's are all they, stop. I can't stay super long tonight. By the way, I got homework to do. So. Oh, okay. Is there is there, uh, is there more story in this cutscene? No. Oh. Oh, hey, it's, it's the wolf. A giant wolf. Oh, he's the wolf with the sword in his mouth. What in the world? Okay. Huh. Interesting. So when you first saw this guy, what did you think of this? I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> How am I gonna fight this guy? How is he so good with a sword? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, you're dead. I see. I should have chosen the shield with more stability, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> Woo. Talk about tense. I do enjoy the music. It yeah, helps the make the situation cool. more tense. Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. That's a movie we have to. Oh, I want to see that. Of yeah, we have. To see, we should see that. I heard that's a really good one. I heard it's a huge hit and miss of critics, actually. Really? Oh, yeah. geez. At uh, first. The only ones that I... Uh, as far as movie critics, I mostly go with Red Letter Media. Because they do this... Uh... I like Roger Eber. He hasn't been up to much yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, in a while, actually. But um... <laughs> In about a year and a half, he's... He yeah, hasn't, well, uh, it's been like, it's been like eight months. I think he's yeah, been he, retired. He hasn't, he hasn't done much in about eight months. Um, but is Red that Letter, tasteless? Red Letter Media does uh, Half in the Bag. Which is like their movie review series, uh, and I really oh, like fudge. it. They they're pretty good at uh, talking about why a movie is good or bad. Uh, so are these all his victims? These swords yes. and graves. So I believe so. So you're avoiding to become one of them. Yes, I would like to not be a sword in, the, in his Ooh. graveyard here. Well, that attack right there is pretty that punishing. That one is really hard to dodge. And oh, how are you? Not dead. I know. One more. Yeah. See, now what I didn't let you see here, because I killed him. What? Uh, when you get his health down to about one fourth, it's really sad, because he starts limping uh, as, you, as you fight him, and like whimpering like an actual dog does. Interesting. Um, and the thing is that. You feel bad I'll, for I'll him. explain some story here. The reason I'm here, I just got that crest of Artorius, mm -hmm. which is something that I need um, to get, fight a later boss in the game. Um, and basically, I'll explain a little bit of story here. Mm. This is the grave of Artorius. This okay. is his grave. This is his sword. That big one? Yes. Okay. Um, well, maybe just a replica. There's two of them. Uh, <laughs> and he was a knight of Gwyn, the last boss. Let me guess, that wolf was like his pet. That wolf was his pet. And uh. that wolf, like, vowed to protect his grave. Uh. Um after he was dead. So they make it tragic. Yes. So people are always trying to come here to defile his grave and to get him and his sword and stuff like that. And, and the wolf just kills him. And the wolf is trying to protect his master. So, so what it, I just did is I just sword. came in and murdered the guardian. So was it the sword? sword that the wolf was using? Yeah, what then? sword was Yes, he? that was the sword. Oh, okay. Uh, and then back here, I just took a hornet ring yeah. off of this body. Looks like a... Now, each of the four knights of Gwyn has a ring. The Leo ring, which is belongs to... Um, King Leo. Ornstein. No, oh, Ornstein. Okay. Uh, who is the guy that's with Smo, the guy in the golden armor that I told you about. Yes. That I went to go fight, but wasn't there. Because oh. I already killed him. Okay. Um, Goff, who was a giant, but also an archer. Oh, okay. Um, uh, here, Artorius. He was one of them as well. Uh, he had a ring. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, the wolf's ring, um, and then Goff had the hawk, the hawk's ring. Okay, so that and then this ring. girl, she's a girl. I can't remember her name though. But she was another one of the knights, and she had the hornet ring. Mm. Um, but she was in love with Artorius, yeah. so she came here, laid behind his grave, and died there. 
So this entire arena is very depressing. How did you even find this information? Um, there's a guy. Because it wasn't in the game. On YouTube. It wasn't in the game. There's was a guy it? on YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> called, um, was he a developer called, of the game? No. <laughs> called, Epic Name, called Epic Name Bro. Oh, okay. That's his YouTube thing. Okay. Um, and he does... Um, How did he find all this? Uh, he looked... Like, you can you can find this all out from the game. So, for example, I'll go to the rings. I'll go to the Hornets ring. Does it give, like, a description? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'll go to the Hornets ring. So, you have a real... If you have a, if you have a lot a, of time in your hands... Da, 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 da. Here we go. One of the special rings granted yeah. the four knights of Gwyn. The hornet okay. ring belonged to the Lord's Blade, uh, Sierran. So basically, you get two sentences of of backstory. Yeah. And back here is up here, Leo ring. One of the special rings granted the four knights of Gwyn. The Leo ring belonged to Ornstein, the dragon slayer. So that's just one sentence because you already got this other sentence. Yeah. Previously. Wow, there's so, so much work on the part of the player to so you, yeah, get the story. So you, you basically read. I'm sorry. Descriptions. Um, yes. Put it together. But this is what he does, and he makes lore videos about this game. And does some of his own speculation, some of what's actually you can find in the game, hmm. and talks about this. And okay. that's one of the believed things about there. I like really cool doing this. Hmm. Um, <laughs> and just killed a wolf. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so hmm. that's Dark Souls. Very interesting. Well, thank you for watching Dark Souls. Beyond. <laughs>